Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be looking at the monsters. More specifically, we're going to be talking about their special clock. The special clock contained a raven inside, kind of mimicking a cuckoo clock. And I want to get into some of the details of this clock and even where it is today. So hopefully you can join me. Don't forget to browse my channel, subscribe, and hit the thumbs up button if you do like the content. So let's begin here. The jet black raven, which poked its beak, outside of the antique grandfather clock, always said, nevermore, nevermore. It's kind of its catchphrase and everyone loved it. It went along with what the characters were saying in terms of the dialogue. Now, if this quote or this phrase, nevermore, was pretty familiar to you, well, it does come from somewhere. It does come from Edgar Allan Poe's classic, The Raven. It's a favorite of producer Bob Mosher, and so he decided to use the catchphrase inside the actual show. Now, to make this raven come alive, the prop masters of the studio crafted a hand-operated stuffed bird to be manipulated from the back of this cuckoo clock. Now, its beak move on a wire system with a line that went out to the back of the bird and a prop man squeezed a trigger. In terms of his speech, well, he had a very famous voice. came from a very famous man. They often call him the man of a thousand voices. His name was Mel Blanc. Now, if you don't know him by his face or his name, you of course know him as playing the original Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Elmer Fudd, so many characters that I could spend probably a whole video just naming them. An incredible talent. Many people don't know that this famous voice was the Raven for the show. Now, for many years, the actual voice of the Raven that was a mystery. No one knew who actually did the voice other than the people on the show. It wasn't really widely spread, but as the show completed and run its course and time passed, this started to become revealed. Now, what was the name of the Raven? Did he have a name? Well, he did. It was only named during one episode, only mentioned once. His name was Charlie, Charlie the Raven. It surprises me because it's not kind of a monster's name, but there it is, Charlie the Raven. Now you may be surprised to learn that the voice of this raven changed on occasion. For about 80% of the time, the raven's lines were made and created by Mel Blanc. However, sometimes he wasn't available. He had a busy work schedule and he couldn't make it all the time. So they got the actor Bob Hastings to step in for the voice of the raven. Now he didn't really make an impression of Blanc's voice, but he kind of imitated the sound in a way and there was a slightly different tone. You may actually hear it if you really pay attention during some of the episodes. Now, some of you may know Bob Hastings from the show McHale's Navy, who's also in many movies and television shows as well. Most notably, at least for me, Batman the Animated Series, the 1990s animated universe TV show in which he played Commissioner Gordon. And I know what everyone out there is asking, where is this clock today? What happened to it? Well, this backless wooden antique prop clock, as I had mentioned, in July of 2005, along with the pedestal that was used to hold it, sold at auction in Los Angeles, California, for a whopping total of 28,000 American dollars. What an amazing feat. Thank you so much, guys and gals, for watching. I do hope you appreciate this quick look at this incredible piece of Munster's history. If you wanna see more videos like this, the best way to let me know is by hitting that thumbs up button or leaving a comment down below. What would you like to see? I'd be happy to cater to that. We'll see you next time. Hopefully you stay positive, always better yourself, and most importantly, be hopeful.